Oh, they're not that far, though. For me, having to backtrack on the map, they are not that far, which this is going to add a little bit of a twist and turn to this race for sure. Everyone, welcome back to the crew too. jumping in to do more races and stuff. Now, this episode was going to be free mode roam, but in the midst of it, I took a race uh, in a new Lamborghini that I got. Uh, that was a 40 minute race. So this is pretty much what we're going to be doing this episode. Next episode, we'll be doing some free roam, kind of just having fun with the cars and cruising around, maybe some bikes and stuff like that. Uh, but nonetheless, let's go ahead and jump into it and see what we can get into. Okay, this looks weird as fuck. I don't know what this is, but we're in some like... Uh, oh, fuck. What is it called? It's that the Back to the Future car. DeLorean. That's what it is. All right. I don't know what this is. I haven't done it before, but this looks cool. I wonder if this is one of the new races that we've actually unlocked. Oh, it does say DeLorean on the back. That's fucking sick. It's a little crazy, the colors and shit like that. I wonder... Oh, they changed the whole fucking thing around, dude. It's some next level shit. Why are we the only one in a DeLorean, too? And it's like solidified. We can't... Okay, no, he's in a DeLorean, but it's not as crazy as mine. This bitch is banging. How the fuck does that even make sense? This is a normal race too, so I would say that the racers kind of suck probably compared to what we have been seeing in these past couple races. Uh, this is definitely not the Lamborghini that I wanted to use, but that's okay. Uh, I'm sure only some fucking races will allow for the Lamborghini anyways. This is actually going to be a pretty intense race because again, my car is not like super maxed out here. So if their cars actually have some modifications to it, they'll probably be able to catch up fairly quick. I'm going to try to use some of my nitrous here to just keep my distance in this lead from them. Um, they are kind of catching up fairly quick here, which is a little bit concerning if I do say so myself. I should be focusing more on the race ahead of me and what's going on behind me. Unless I see that they're kind of catching up. It wants me to go through all the trees. What the fuck? Watch them be hitting it. They just don't even give a shit. They're just smashing through all the trees. That would be so fucking not how you race. All right, this thing is actually doing really good. It has very decent handling line. It's very stiff, and it's it's not all over the road. Um, we have only hit maybe a few things out of the bunch, but we have a very solid lead right now on these guys. Again, this is just normal. Um, I don't even think I own a DeLorean, so we would be you know, getting all these modifications for a car that I technically don't even have. Although it would be cool if you won races if they gave you the car that they auto put you in. That would be kind of slick. Because then you could just passively get a whole bunch of cars instead of having to spend real life money on any vehicle or anything like that. Thankfully, we had enough uh, crew credits. That's what they're called. To be able to get that Lamborghini uh, without it like affecting anything or like breaking the bank. So it was like passively earned money, which is nice. Having to spend any money on... I don't know. I, I'll spend them on shooting games because I prefer spending... And on shooting games, you get outfits, guns, all that stuff. But, like, just cars, that's, you know, fucking passively earn that shit. We're at 60% on our race, 2 minutes and 9 seconds in. We have a pretty decent lead. I do see one of the racers uh, catching up just a little. Ow. We got to get off that wall because that's going to, yep, going to cost us a little bit. We are still green on our time, but anyone can catch up. Just because you're in the front doesn't mean that you're going to win. That's for sure. At any moment, a race can change, and that's kind of where I'm feeling we're going to be at here soon. We're at 70% completed on our distance here. I want to say that this is a new map every time we play it. Like, um, or not new map, but like, it's we're not going around on the same course. We're changing, or we're on something that's like completely of its own. So this is the first time me seeing this. I also wonder what type of drug I'm on, because this does not look like the crew too. And I'm like trying to figure out what's going on here. Holy 197 in a DeLorean. I don't even know if that's possible. Like, it was a nice car. Doc Brown got it up to 88 for some time travel shit. But other than that, I don't think it's pushing 193. Like, he got me fucked up. Those cars are not cooking it as fast as we are in this uh, straightaway here. Thank God that we have this. Because this car works really good on straightaways and is not the best on turns. All those other cars back there have been eating up the turns and the straightaways. 193. It's not pushing anything faster than uh, 200, that's for sure. Oh, we're going to die. We're going to die. We're going to die. Damn it. Damn it. Pure driving. Win street race event completed. I don't remember them giving me a little thing like that each time. Oh, shit. No. Don't. Why are you guys hitting me on purpose, it seems like? That's kind of fucked up. I like how I'm racing backwards on them now. Gotta love it. So we got some stuff for this vehicle, even though that's totally pointless, and I don't have this car and or 
I guess I do. Do we get to keep the cars? I'm so fucking confused at this point. Maybe we don't own it. They just let us drive it after or something like that. I don't know. I really couldn't tell you. Let's see if we could find something else here. No, I don't want to set a waypoint. Remove waypoint. Travel to. Okay, this might be it. Let's see if we could get our fucking Lamborghini. There we go. All right. Hypercar. Found one. New York to Cali. Get out there and let her rip. What? That's way too fucking long. I don't want to fucking do... That's that's great that they're... Oh, shit. We're in this bitch. Okay, sick. So it looks like we're going from New York to Cali. I'm a little concerned here on this race just because we've done these before. And we've got our shit smashed. Oh, I wonder if we're not even... Oh, no. That's, that's a hypercar race right there, dude. Holy shit. You already know these guys have maxed out fucking cars. Let me see if I can just off the rip. Get the fuck out of my way, bitch. All right, Glenn. It's me and you, buddy. Okay, just knock everything down if you can. That's fucking great. All right, we're going from New York, where we're at right now, New York, New York, uh, to Cali. And uh, this is going to be quite an interesting race. Look at the progression. It's at zero. It's at motherfucking zero still and we've been in this race for 25 seconds i'm actually kind of one percent and it took us 29 seconds that's actually that's gonna be a long fucking race uh, like i'm concerned right now uh the aventador should be able to hold it down even in a stock manner if not some shit's fucked up for like a million dollar car here wow we are just cooking it right now two percent completed 47 seconds i don't even have any eyes on any of these drivers this is because they're on normal too. So I would assume that their cars aren't like fully maxed out or anything. Probably if that's how the game sets it up. I would hope. Because if not, we're going to get our asses kicked here. And uh, right now I'm feeling confident because we've got a massive, massive gap. We're going 211 miles per hour, which that's the advertised speed that they put on the uh, flyer there before I bought it, which was 211. So it's definitely holding up to what it said it was going to be able to run, which is pretty fucking fast. Now we just got to get through checkpoints. We've got to make sure we don't hit any cars and or any items on the roadway that are going to be solid and kind of fuck our shit up. We're going to be jumping on the freeway here. I would assume once we get on this freeway, uh, it's going to be like a straight shot because we're just going to be going um, west towards the to Cali. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. Almost hit that. So moments like these, we could definitely see the racers catch back up. I still don't see him even getting on the freeway yet. So let's go ahead and hit it with some nitrous. Get that jump. We're going to burn it all the way through. Yeah, sick. Way to check your corners on a car that's coming up 130. This is going to be... I feel like this is going to be majority of the fucking episode. Is us racing this race right here. Which I'm kind of glad that we're up here by ourselves. Because I feel like we would just be getting our asses kicked. And having to catch up. Maybe their cars don't go to 11 though. So maybe if I did let them catch up a little. We would have a little bit more of a chance to fucking be in like an an actual race. They're not too far back. I want to keep my speed. If I stay around like 90 to 100, which is going to be quite difficult on these turns here. Oh, we got one catching up super quick, dude. His fast. His car is fast. If he's breaking through that pack like that, his driving is solid and then his uh, car is actually very fast. They're actually all separated from what I can see. They all have a decent little gap in between them all. Uh, that one car is going to be coming up here quick. I want to make sure I don't get screwed here. So we should probably let him catch up on a straightaway. So that way I'm not having to take these turns and then not be able to put down the power like I would like. What was that backfire? Oh, he's coming up, dude. I don't mind if I get second if I'm at least racing one other person. You know what I mean? At least it gives us something to kind of fuck with here. I'd be ripping this up so much farther. Okay, here we go. I see him. I think I see him. He's in, like, some type of orange car. All right, we got to keep that speed, bro. He's coming up quick. Holy shit. We got Glenn, number number two in the race, coming up. Coming up quick. It looks like it's just going to be me and him neck to neck. I even said, fuck this shit. I'm going to wait for you to catch up. Glenn's putting down the power in whatever car he's in, though. It has fucking tons. Oh, God. He caught up to me. I'm going to keep him back if I can. He's got to keep him back. Oh, fuck you, Glenn. Fuck you, Glenn. How dare you? We are going to... Well, this is a race now. I'm going to pit this son of a bitch out. Oh, he is hitting the brakes. He's no, He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing, and this is only on normal. Oh, this is kind of fucking sad now. That was a nice car you had there, sir. 
All right, Glenn. Glenn has first. We are 9% into this race. So pretty much at this point, since I just gave it to Glenn, uh, we have to make sure we don't hit anything. We also have to make sure we keep up with him because getting caught up to him is probably going to be a little difficult. He is ripping it up right now, dude. Holy shit. His car is so fast. Oh my God. He's like a very stellar driver. I say that and he just killed like seven people, but you know what they say. He is doing really well. So we caught back up. He's getting reckless. He's driving oncoming lanes. He's driving towards people, which is just the safest shit for a uh, street race. Oh, that little salty bitch took the shortcut. How dare he? How dare he? Motherfucker. Oh, that was a good shortcut, too. I guess that is permitted. The other racers are not that far back either, which is getting a little concerning. So this actually might amp up a little here. We both just did some. Oh, Glenn just hit a tree. Glenn just hit a tree. Oh, but we got other racers coming up. Okay, Glenn's back on the map. We got two motor stars earned. I don't know what the fuck that means. Oh, number three. Number fucking three, who's going to be Travis coming up quick, just over Glenn, keeping that speed, god damn it. Holy fuck on a nutshell. What kind of car are you in? Please tell me. I need to get off my ass. Travis, I like your car. You might be a good racer, but it doesn't mean shit. It doesn't mean you can pit me off the road. 12% completed. We literally have so much of this race left. Uh, that it's not even funny. If I can remember correctly, what does it take like 15 minutes to get from one side of the map in this game to the other? Uh, that's a long time. We've only, we've, I know that can't be possible because we're already at, we're only at 13% and we're at five minutes. So I'd say it takes 20 to 25 minutes probably, uh, which is, that's a long time uh, to get from one side of the map to the other. That's for sure. And we got multiple racers on us. We just took a major hit there on the front of our car. We lost some speed. I swear to God, these are suicidal animals that are crossing the road, dude. I don't know why they're choosing to cross the road at this time. Uh, I'm not sure what state we're in either. I'm sure it's a nice state. Uh, so I said the, it said the word hope on the sign. Uh, it's a little hard to pay attention, though, because I don't want to lose this race or have them take over. They are fairly close, though, which means that we are in a race, technically. It's not just us racing alone, uh, which is nice. All right, let's focus. Oh, shit. Shit. Wayne? Who the fuck are you, Wayne? You bitch. Okay, how are you going to say that when they finally catch back up? That's toxic. We got uh, Wayne and uh, Neil up in first and second place right now. Uh, Neil has some funky-ass shit that he had added to his car. I'm not sure why he did that. Oh, my fucking Lord. Holy shit, I'm so sorry. That was not... That was accidental, 110%. That wasn't on purpose. I apologize. Uh, Neil has now a hefty lead and is taking the cake here. I'm going to wait for my nitrous to recoup. He's just hitting that shit. Okay, we're going to hit it. We need to catch back up to him. Neil, you are not going to win this shit. I know you want to so bad, bud, but it's not going to fucking happen. Okay, we're doing good. We're catching up. Fuck you and your nitrous. Ooh, he's keeping me at bay. He's keeping me at bay right now. I'm going to try to pass him. I'm going to try to pass him. Come on, baby. Let's go. Oh, that's a big bus. That's a big bus. That's a big motherfucking bus right there. Okay, Neil is still able to maintain that first position here. We've got Travis coming up on our right-hand side. we got a blue bitch coming. Hey, bitch! Holy shit. He just tried to kill me. He just held that position. He said, you see that car? You're going to die today. All right, we now have a fourth position in the pursuit. It looks like it's uh, in the pursuit. What? In this uh, race here. It looks like we're going to have to really fight to get up past these guys. I need to really get my nitrous fully maxed out again because I feel like that's the only way we're going to be able to get up to Neil, who's up there. He is cooking it. I still see his car, though, so that's a plus. Uh, box vans are disappearing. What? Sorry. See ya, bitches. Okay, clearly my vehicle has top end power like a motherfucker, which is good. Um, it just takes a second for it to get up there. But once it hits that 205 mark... They're not really able to keep up. At 170, they can catch up pretty well. Oh, Neil's a dummy. Oh, Neil just lost that first position in the race because he lost control of his vehicle and sped off the track. It's going to be myself and Travis trying to do what they can to take over this race at 20% completed, 8 minutes and 34 seconds. This is going to be a race to die for, ladies and gentlemen. Multiple people have already almost died up in this pitch. I like how I said I was just going to cruise, and now we're in... One of the longest races I've ever been in inside of a vehicle. We've been in a super long race in the motorcycle one. That one was atrocious. Looks like we're going through St. Louis right now because of that arch, if I'm not mistaken. Never been there, but it's a pretty iconic arch. So it's kind of easy to uh, identify. 
Where where is that though? St. Louis, Missouri, if I'm not mistaken. I don't fucking know. I didn't pay attention to history class. Travis is now slipping back there. We've got the rest of the racers pretty much caught up, minus two of them. Uh, we have one that's really straggling, uh, struggling to keep up with everyone, and then we have a second one that's doing well, but is really far back there. Then all the rest of the racers are kind of grouped up together. So we've uh, maintained our first lead position here. I have a feeling if I were to just passively race this, we'd probably get a good lead. Um, and it would be a little difficult for them to catch up, but I'm not saying it would be completely impossible. Uh, we've, we've seen them be able to just completely overpass us, but once our vehicle hits the top end, that's kind of when we just shit on their day any day. So I might want to wait for Travis to be able to catch back up here. And I only say that, oh shit, I say that, but he's doing it on his own, dude. He's got a mind of his own. That's some creepy shit. He's like, he like can hear me or something, I think. Oh, Travis, relax, bud. Relax. Stop listening to what's going on inside my car and just focus on your car. Holy shit. As long as I could just see landmarks of where we're at, I'll be able to identify the state. But we'll have to see. This will be as <laughs> this will be good. I'll be able to see if I'm good at identifying states or not by their landmarks that are in a video game. So we're coming up to another major city, it looks like. I have no idea what this could be. Um but we really haven't even left the East Coast yet. We're definitely still going through that. Don't see any goddamn palm trees up in this bitch. And that's how you know. That's a great identifier right there. Travis is attempting to keep up with us. He's having a little bit of trouble getting through these turns here. Okay, he's he's fucking He's impressive, all right? We're just going to we're going to say that. Oh shit. Not today, Travis. Not today, bud. Not going to happen. We have 2.6 miles until the next checkpoint. 27% completed at a 10 minute mark so far. This has been quite the race. Uh, I definitely think we're gonna be going well into the 15 to 20 minutes on this race. And it's just gonna be me and Travis neck to neck the whole time. Uh, unless some actual shit happens where I lose control and hit something that really fucks us up. I don't think the other racers are gonna be able to pick back up to our speeds. I'm, I'm at least hoping that's not gonna be the case. Oh, we took that super fast. Holy shit. We're going to die. We're going to die. I'm not trying to die right now. I would like to hit the vape while I'm racing, but I know that that would probably be the worst idea. We're going to do it. I got this. I did it. I did it. I, that was all one-handed racing right there, even though it was all straightaways, but we still did it. It's going to be a long race. We're going to need to replenish our... our uh, Hydration and uh, contemplation, okay? You know what I'm saying? Okay, Travis, you better speed up, bro. We're kicking that ass. All right, again, one-handed ra uh, racing again. Let's see how this works through the uh, city. Oh, shit. That was not good. You see, I couldn't turn. I could, I could break, but I couldn't turn because I had one motherfucking hand. Oh, shit. That was such a bad idea. Oh, no, that was so bad. That was so bad. We only can do that on straightaways. It just won't work either way. Travis is like, I'm going I'm to get you, bitch. I'm going to get you. Hell fucking no, Travis. 31% completed. 12 minutes, 27 seconds. I see some straightaways, so you know what that means. Uh, oh, shit. Travis is coming up on that ass. Oh, fuck. See ya. What do I want to be? I better get some good ass upgrades for this uh, race, dude. Because this is intense. That is a gorgeous sunset, though. Off those mountains. Oh, motherfucking shit, turtle. Are you fucking kidding me? That's not good. That just, they stopped in the middle of the fucking lane. All the racers just caught back up. We've got fucking Neil, Wayne, and Travis all in this shit now. I'm gonna be able to pass up Travis. Neil and Wayne are neck to neck up in this bitch, but we've had no problem passing their vehicles up prior. We just kind of got to find the sweet spot. Oh, Neil and Travis just ate mad shit on each other. They are now almost dead in the race. What a good timing for them to fucking pit each other out, dude. Yo, Travis, me and you, bro. I'm gonna win. I like your pulsing fucking underglow you got, but I'm not going to let you win the race, okay? It's not going to happen today, partner. So we had a point thirteen of a second <laughs> ahead of this motherfucker. So that's, I think that's what it shows. So it shows that we have about, you know, usually we'd be about 10 to 11 seconds ahead before they were to hit the checkpoint. So I think that's what that indicates, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, couldn't, can't be too sure because um, I don't think they explained that prior, but you know what they say. Oh, that car looked like it was going fast. 35% completed, 13 minutes, 49 seconds on the clock. We got Travis acting like a prick. And one mile until we get to the next checkpoint here. 
Uh, I don't know where we're at, but we're in the boons, it seems like. Let's see if I can look at these. Uh, I can't. I can't. I can't read the signs that fast when we're passing at 180 miles per hour. Uh, Black Hills? I don't know where the fuck that would be. But wherever we're at, it likes to rain, that's for sure. North entrance? I don't know what the fuck. That's not helping. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That fucked us both up right there, bro. That fucked us both up. Oh, shit on my turtle. Stop it. All right, we got to get this back. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, holy shit. North Grassland. I don't know where that's at either. I just know we're in the fucking foresty area. That's for sure. North Grassland again. That's a tongue twister and a half, dude. Okay, so that was pretty scary there. Uh, we lost control of the vehicle and we hit that, or we almost hit that cement barrier, which would have been really bad. Oh my god, we're all over the place. Glenn, no. You get me fucked up. That's not gonna happen today, brother. Not on these. Fuck, these turns are nasty. These turns are nasty. All the racers just died. Okay, we have 12 dead racers on our hands. They all just slid off the fuck. <laughs> Literally all of them just slid off the freeway. Um... Wait, Glenn... What? I think Glenn slid off the freeway, too. I'll, I'll wear the highway, wherever the fuck we're at. We're on this road, and he definitely slid off, because I went from second, or, like, third or fourth to fucking first place, just like that. And I don't even know what the fuck happened, to be truthfully honest. Uh, clearly, they, they need to do better at racing, because uh, that ain't it, Chief. That's not it. I'm going to have to be honest with you. All right, 39% completed. We are at 15 minutes into this race. So we're looking at about 30 minutes for 80% completed, and we're looking at about 40 for 100%. So that is going to be an episode right there of just this one fucking race, probably. Uh, we had a prior with the DeLorean, which was actually a good race. We came in uh, solid first on that one. And I feel like because of all the racers just sliding off the cliff there, we just maintained our position again. Wow, this car is looking mighty damn good in this fucking tunnel. I wish I could open up uh, their picture mode when you're in a race, but unfortunately you can't. Because that would have been slick with all the like rain and shit, the car being wet, but it's dry inside the tunnel. Yeah, that would have been slick as shit, dude. So if I'm not mistaken, Travis is catching back up to us right now. It's been a minute since I've seen them in the race, to be truthfully honest. Uh, yeah, he's definitely catching back up. So it's good to see someone else again after they almost just died. That would have been really sad if we would have had to, like, stop the race because all the other racers died and only one survived because everyone sucks. But that would kind of be how it goes, I honestly think. Buffalo! Holy shit, Travis. No, you gotta relax, dude. I swear, every time an animal passes a path, they get, like, a speed boost or something because they just come out of nowhere, which makes no sense. All right, so I would, I, I would say Travis is probably the second best racer in this race. Uh, he's had zero issue catching back up, and that's me fully pumping out this uh, Lamborghini here. Which I gotta admit is a really fucking nice car. The back end's a little touchy. I'm sure you can see that my driving and the handling of this car is, like, not super the best. Like, we kind of just have to keep doing some jank shit to make it work. But it's actually not a bad car. It's doing what it has to do, uh, and that's kind of all that matters. So we are at 44% completed on this race with a 17 minute and 45 second timer. That's not too bad. We got a checkpoint coming up here as well too. I honestly am not the biggest fan of the super long races because I kind of feel like it's just very strenuous to do. Uh, if they were to like lock down the whole map to where there was like no traffic or anything like that, it probably would be fun because it would feel a little more better. It just kind of feels like we're on some need for speed shit right now, but there's just no cops involved. Because this would definitely not be legal. Going uh, 202 miles per hour through the United States like this from New York to California, but I digress, so. All right, we just dusted on Travis. These straightaways totally just shit on his car. Uh, he's able to catch back up if I'm going relatively slow. With my car, these are beautiful mountains with these trees, though. And the sky with the dark clouds and the fucking blue. Oh, looks so goddamn good. I do see Travis back there, though. He's trying. He's trying to catch back up. But I'm also trying to rip through this race as fast as possible without uh, postponing it that long. Because I would be pretty pissed if I did all that postponing shit and then made a fuck up somewhere. Um, where we had them all catch back up and I somehow didn't get first or second place. That would be heart-wrenching. I don't mind if I come in first or second. That's okay. 
Uh, but third or anything beyond would kind of just be fucked up because it is normal. So we should be able to have no problem completing this race. But we'll just have to see. We've had some vehicles pull out in front of us, which is kind of whack, not going to lie. They did some GTA shit where they're like driving and then all of a sudden just decide to sl slam on the fucking brakes. See, look, animal crosses, he catches up. Okay, I think it's I think it's all triggered somehow. Like it's it's an indicating warning or something. Like, oh shit balls. Oh fuck you, Travis. How the fuck did you get up that fast? That's bullshit. I call bullshit on a sunny day, which it just became sunny. Like literally right this second. That was like perfect timing. Travis, get the fuck out of here. We're at halfway completed. Oh yeah, we're definitely looking at a uh, 40 minute race here, which that's a long fucking race. I shit, I shit you not, Travis. Uh, I should have known that it would have been a super long race though, considering the fact that we were going from the fucking east coast to the west coast, um, literally. And that's gonna take some time. That would take, what, three days or something if you were to actually drive that. If you were racing, I don't know, you'd have to survive and get there alive, but uh, maybe it could take like you know, two days or something like that. I don't know. I've never made the trip. I don't think I would ever want to drive that far because uh, that just seems like hell. I drove from San Francisco area to LA. I have drove from San Francisco to Washington. I drove from San Francisco to uh, Nevada, but I have never gone anything farther than the West Coast. And oh no, yeah, I have. I, uh, oh damn, we just killed Deb. Oh, why are they walking in the street? What are you doing? I drove from, uh, I don't know how I forgot that. It was, um, Oh, Chicago. That's right. Uh, Illinois. Chicago, Illinois to California. We flew there to pick up a car and then drove it back, which we got the drive done in like 23 hours. So I do remember that now that I think about it. But, you know, that's probably going a little faster than the posted speed limit the whole time. But you know what I'm saying? You got to get there. You got to gotta make it happen, Captain. Uh, we got Travis and Wayne now up at second and third position here playing hardball for those two spots. We seem to be maintaining our position fairly well. We're playing the inside of the court. Hey, you selfish little bitch. He almost pit me off the track. I'm trying to hug the uh, inside of the lanes here so that way they don't have a chance to pass me up, but it looks like they're playing the same game too. Hey, yes, selfish little turtle fucker. How dare you? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, they're racing pretty dirty right now. I actually might stay away from them for right the second, especially because we got some nasty curves coming up here. If that's how they're going to play it, that's going to get someone off the map and that's going to fuck someone's spot up really badly. Because uh, at this moment, if we lose control of the vehicle, they could get that gap, which could make them, you know, too far ahead that we won't be able to catch up. I should have braked a long time ago. I am also hitting my horn. Shit's getting real. Okay, we're going through a town here. It looks like a small town, Red Rock. Not sure where that is. We're going to go ahead and get some nitrous going. We're going straight through this town. See ya, bitch. See ya. What I want to be ya. Dude, they're hitting every street pole. I, why are they coded to do that? That makes zero sense. Oh, we're going way too fast. We're going way too fast, dude. No, Travis. No. You've been in the back the whole time. I like how the Lamborghini logo reflects the blue that's coming out of the tailpipe. That's fucking sick. That's a very small attention to detail right there, but I actually fuck with it. Uh, we are 56% completed on this race. 22 minutes and 47 seconds for the past, I don't know minute we've been racing with these guys Travis and Wayne here and they've been putting up a pretty goddamn good fight I must say uh, but we just overpassed Travis in his white two-door sports car which actually puts down some decent power uh, you can't hit it if I've hit it you losers you little fuckers oh I think that made him lose control or something dude we took a hefty ass gap right there that also fucked the shit out of our car how how would that We've hit so many cement barriers, but we hit those fucking water barrels and it totally demolishes our shit. We got a 58% completed on 23 minutes, 25 seconds. So we're looking at a 40 minute solid race here, which I don't think I've ever raced that long in a video game before ever. Uh, I don't play NASCAR games, so there's like no reason for me to ever race anything more than 20 minutes. The only time I've done that is that stupid Harley Davidson race, but that was just stupid because you were on a bike and you couldn't catch up, and it was the shittiest bike ever. Now our bike would shit on everyone, but bike races to me are a little too blasé, I guess you could say. Uh, they're just not as thrilling. If I'm going to do something like that, I would prefer to uh, take a car out. 
just would be a little more fun. Unless you're going to go for a cruise, then the cruise is actually really cool on a bike. Almost is like perfect. I kind of feel like we're going to be going through like, I don't know where the fuck we are. Arizona, maybe? Because that kind of looks like Arizona rocks. If that's even a fucking thing. I don't know. The rocks are really identifiable. Oh, shit. Is that... Wait, that might be Vegas. Is that Vegas? I feel like this is Vegas. I don't even think I can open the motherfucking map right now. Oh, that's definitely looking like Vegas, I think. We're going to have to identify it a little bit more when we get closer to it. But I'm, like, seeing these gold buildings and shit, which kind of look like casinos. I don't know if it's, like, geologically correct with all the buildings, but... Oh, that's definitely looking like Vegas right there. Uh, it doesn't look like the desert, though. Cause, yeah, no, I see palm trees. Okay, no, that's most definitely Davis. Um, Davis. Oh, no, this is Las Vegas for sure. 110 percent. Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up big time. I was too busy looking at Vegas. Oh, shit balls, dude. Oh, no. Did I just cost me the race here? I'm in third, too. No. No. Oh, that's fucked, dude. We got to get some straightaways, like, right fucking now, bro. Come on. That's toxic. I was too busy focusing on the fucking city that I wasn't fucking focusing on the race. Oh, they're not that far, though. For me having to backtrack on the map, they are not that far, which this is going to add a little bit of a twist and turn to this race for sure. Because I said I didn't want third, and we're not going to get third, goddammit. We've got a 211-mile-per-hour car. We're going through Vegas, which means we're fucking with a lot of straight roads right now, which is going to help us in the end if we got to put down the power. I need to speed 211 miles per hour up to these turtle fuckers and try to get caught up to them. I see them on the map. They're not gaining too fast here. Uh, but we got to get that nitrous back to be able to do anything here. Oh, we got this shit. We got this shit. Just wait. Just wait. Come on. Nitrous is building. We're getting up to about 190 miles per hour. We have no turn. 66% completed. I got plenty of time to bring this race back. I just have to pay attention. So we're going through Vegas, which means we're almost there. We're not too far away from California as it is. Oh, you stupid bitch. Get out of the fucking way. Holy shit. I am driving in your lane. But once I hit you, get the fuck out of the road. Yes. Selfish son of a bitch. Oh, my God. If I lose this, bro, in third place after fucking maintaining it the whole time and having one little fuck up, I'm going to be so fucking pissed. That's going to be so demotivating. And I'm never going to want to do a long race again. So we've got our uh, nitrous back, but we got to watch out because we got some pretty nasty turns coming up here. Fuck, bro. This is toxic. This is toxic. Oh, man. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. I want to see. That's not what I need right this second. I need to open the map. I need to open the fucking map bigger. There we go. I need to be able to keep an eye on them. They've made it almost out of my little mini map. But if I open up the big one, they're still there. So we've got to wait for a straightaway. We got full nitrous here. Let's get this up to about 180 miles per hour. All it took was one fuck up there, dude. And that's so sad. Because it happens so fucking quick. All right, we're catching up. Oh, no. We got racers catching up to us who's catching up to these guys. Oh, no. I still got time. I got 30% uh, left of this race. We've been in it for 27 minutes. We're looking at 12 fucking minutes to get shit done here, okay? We've got a checkpoint after turn. So technically, I could have cut the corner just a little bit there, probably. All right, let's get that nitrous. Help me get back up quicker. I'm getting a little bit worried here. I need a drink. We're going to take a little drink. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That's some organic lemonade right there. Ooh, tart. Oh, no, we got some nasty turns. Let me just use nitrous to get up there faster. Oh, I want to fuck them. Okay, well, I just did something stupid there, which got us in fifth place. Now we've got to catch not only up to the first two racers, but the fucking two other people that just took two more spots in front of me. I tried to cut the fucking track, and I got stuck on a guardrail and rocks, and I think they knew what they were doing there on purpose, because, like, someone was going to fucking try to cut there, and they said, fuck them. God forbid that they do that to try to get first in a fucking race. So now we're going to have to work super hard, which honestly, I think we just fucked this race up. And it's so sad that we fucked it up towards the end because we had it no problem. And this is the part that always fucks us is when we go through these California hills 
Because this is like, I definitely think, yeah, we're going through California right now, which is just a shit show to race through if you're in one of these hypercars because it just doesn't work like that. I'm at 73% completed on this race. Um, I got to see, oh, here's Neil. Okay, well, at least I can take fourth position. So that's good. He's like, his car's fucked or something, dude. He's just cruising down the road, which makes like zero sense. Okay, come on, baby. Let's go. I got to catch up to third here. I, I want to regain my position. Get the fuck out of here, Neil. I am not in the mood for this bullshit right now. It's been a stressful day. I am 32 seconds behind. Oh, you got me fucked up right now. That's sad to see. That is, I've got to catch up by 32 seconds, bro, which is doable. Come on, Neil. Stop fucking around, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, my God. The car is just doing so bad up these fucking hills, dude. But there's us having no problem gaining fucking traction and going up. 75% completed. I have no nitrous. I've lost fourth place again. Um, getting a little demotivated. Not honest. Uh, gonna be honest here. Um, little, little fucking demotivated. Because I really thought that that was gonna be the moment I could have caught back up to first and second right there by doing a little bit of cheeky bullshit. But of course, just as usual, always get fucked over in the California hills. 76% completed. I would assume those guys are like at 82, 85% completed. Unless we get out of these fucking hills, there's going to be no way that I can fucking regain any good position, uh, which is a little bit stupid. I need something though. Why is it not going past 150 miles per hour? Like I get you're going up a little bit of a hill, but you are a fucking hypercar. I don't give a fuck. Like do it. Just fucking do that shit. That is your fucking job. 36, which means they're now even farther ahead. They were at 30 before, and now they're at 30 fucking six. So they have a pretty fucking decent lead right there. We're cutting it up through this. No brakes needed necessarily right this second. I'm trying to catch up to Neil. We've got that other guy in front of Neil. Dude, they're like not even hitting the brakes too, or the brake lights don't even fucking show from back here, which is kind of toxic, because I'm looking at his car to kind of get a general idea of what the fuck he's doing. I feel like we're burning through the nitrous so much faster as well, too. How am I not able to fucking catch up to him? This is so stupidly toxic. Oh my god. Come on. We gotta get the fuck out of these uphill bullshit, dude. We are not gonna be able to get anywhere if we don't get away from these. Oh, they are so far up ahead. Here, we got a straightaway, though, but chances are it's gonna be going uphill because why the fuck not? Yeah, uh, definite major uphill. We're not going to be able to go past 146. So wherever we're at in this race right this second is kind of just how it is. We've got another checkpoint. I feel like I could cut the track again, but I feel like doing something like that might cost us if they have guardrails up on the other side. I've got to try to figure this out, dude. We've got to try to do something. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. All righty. So fifth place is going to be our position in this race. Uh, and that's solidified at this point from what I've just noticed. Uh, there's not going to be anything we're going to do. We're going to have to keep it, though, because I've been doing this race for 45 minutes. Oh, no. I've been doing this race for 33 minutes, and there's no going back now. Uh, we're kind of just in it. And if this is the positions that we're going to have to get, that's just how it is. I'll probably be honest here. I'll never do a cross-country race again, whether it's cars or bikes. I will stay as far away from them as possible because they're just stupidly silly. You, may, you hold it down the whole fucking time, and then somehow, some way, these dumbass AIs on normal can just find a way to take over, and then that's that. So, yeah, it's just kind of a waste of time. But I think it was fun to at least do so we could just try it out and try it in a hypercar. We'll maybe get some upgrades. If they don't give us some upgrades for 40 fucking minutes in a race, then they can suck themselves. Oh, good. And my recording software just shut off again as well, too. So that's always fantastic. So we lost even more time as well, which if, if, that probably would have happened even mid-race anyways, which would have fucked our shit up. So, uh, yeah, fifth it is. <laughs> I guess that's just what it is, honestly. If I managed to pull out in the past 15%, I would be shocked. But I also know that's just not going to be possible. These hills and these corners in this uh, Lamborghini are just no bueno and uh, not working at all. At least if, if, if another racer passes me up, I'm going to be pretty pissed because he's coming up on the six here. Uh, and if, if we lose fifth place to this fucking other motherfucker who's been sucking ass this whole time, that's going to be even more fucked up. Uh, very, very hurtful internally. 
Yeah, there is no way in hell we are catching up to them, dude. They are so fucking far. And the, the end of the race is actually coming up here. I remember this because this is the same path that we took for the motorcycle race that we did on the Harley. And it ends, like, somewhat near a bridge here. And uh, there's, with, there's, like, no straightaways. So we're not going to be able to put the Lamborghini to its best quality here, which is just ripping up, like, a straight path. Yeah, if we could go 211, we'd be chilling. We'd catch up to them, no problem. Uh, but unfortunately, it's just not possible. In these California turns, it is not fucking even conceivable. We're at 87%. I would assume that the top racers are probably several checkpoints away now from uh, completing the race, which is a little bit unfortunate. I, w I had a first and second position. It was me and fucking Travis literally the whole time in the race, and now Travis and someone else are just going at it, which is so fucked, dude. I wanted to win it so bad. It would have been so worthy of the time to sit there and do a fucking 36-minute fucking race to actually win it. Come on, you fucking silly-ass Lamborghini motherfucker. Holy shit. And we got this guy who's coming up on our six as well, too. We've got 12%, 36 minutes into the race. I think we're definitely going to hit 40 minutes almost on the dot uh, with this race here. But that's so long. That's absurdly fucking long to be racing. Especially when you just get fucking shit canned somewhere down the race. I can't even see him on the minimap, dude. That's how you know we really fucked up. 89%. So this next checkpoint is going to be the 90% mark, I have a feeling. Uh, close to. Not really, though. Damn, they won that shit, those selfish little bitches. I, you know what? You should still technically win if you place anything but last. You know what I mean? Because technically you beat the next guy. So I guess that in some retrospect, it, it does work. And, it, you know, you should be rewarded for that in some extent. Obviously, you should get the big payout if you get that first place. But uh, there should definitely be something. Some compensation for fucking, you know, the stragglers is what we call them. Even though I was in that shit the whole time. 8% left, I'm sorry, 9% left on this race, and we've been in it for 37 minutes. That is just the longest fucking time to see right there. It would be cool if we did this on a track, though. You know what I mean? Like a circle track, like NASCAR or something. I've been, like, the whole time my throat is starting to get scratchy because I've been talking so consecutive. And it, it's, oh, I see someone on my minimap. I know it's not going to be possible to catch back up, but I do see someone on the minimap. Let's see if it is possible. I don't know. I don't see the other racer who somehow managed to catch back up to me. So we do have a big enough gap that we're not super close to him. I like this little neighborhood. We got palm trees. We got the redwoods. I like it. So all those racers up there are pretty sporadic, too. From what I can see on the map, they are all very solidified in their spots as well, too. So whoever's in first is most likely going to maintain that position. So on, so forth, all the way down the line. Uh, I'm pretty well maintained here in fifth place. Uh, I'm a little concerned because this guy is starting to catch up just a T-bit. Come on, 94%. They're going to be nearing the end of the race here. Uh, so we're most likely going to be getting into, like, the heart of California. Which, definitely, this is the outskirts. Okay, I got some straightaway. So I'm going to try to use as much nitrous as I can to just get this 211 here. And then we're going to be cutting actual seconds off of the timer, which would just be really, really needed right now. So keep me on some straightaways. I don't mind wide turns because I can keep the car going at pretty much max speed. But I can't have super sharp turns here because I'm going to have to hit the brakes. Also, the more you turn, the slower your car goes. So let's try to get back up to 211. There we go, baby. I don't think any other cars are even coming close to 211 miles per hour. Oh, I see them. I see him. I see him on the mini-map. I'm actually closing ground here. I don't think I'll be able to get there in an, uh, with the amount of time that we have left, but... Oh, that's the finish, too. There is no way. That's fucked. Next checkpoint is finished. They're about to hit it right now. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, fuck, man. I don't even think I'll be able to pass this other guy up. I'm going to try to just fucking dump as much nitrous in it, into it as I can. Hey, the Golden Gate Bridge. San Francisco, here we come. And he just solidified fourth. That's toxic. 
Fuck, man. I was so close to him, too. That's fucked. All right, well, we tried. We really did try, but we had some fuck-ups, and then I tried to cheat my way back into it. It didn't work. Cheaters don't prosper, so don't try to do that in the races, as we see here. Didn't even reach top three, which I was technically in top three. Uh, but that's going to be where we wrap this one up. Uh, like I said, we are not going to ever do a cross-country race again unless I have some cars, like, fully modified out, and we can go, like, 300 million miles per hour. I got to let my voice take a break because my throat is scratchy as fuck right this second. It's like itching. I feel like I got to cough. All that fun stuff. Uh, so nonetheless, thank you all so much for coming out and watching this episode of The Crew 2. And we will see you next video.